Well, the best teacher I ever had, I can think of three or four of them, but the one that stood out the most was my maths teacher in my last year of school, Mr. Tomlinson. And uh, he was pretty impactful on both myself, myself at the time and certainly in my career. One thing about him is he was very strict, he was quite a disciplinarian, but then most teachers of that vintage were. He was extremely fair in that he treated us all very similarly. He didn't have his favourites, we were all there to do maths. And certainly like many of my fellow students at the time, we were very keen to stop doing the maths, but we had to. We had no choice at that time to go right through to year 12. But the thing that he did most of all is he wanted everyone to share his passion for mathematics. And when I look back now, I think the effect he had on me more than anything else is he saw something in me that I did not see in myself. He saw that I could do this subject. And he gave me a confidence, and obviously he gave me the skills, such that I went on and did maths, and did statistics right through to a PhD level. And that notion that he treated us all very similarly and saw something in us we didn't see in ourselves was really what made the difference. My most inspirational teacher was Mr Crow when I was in primary school. He was the deputy principal but he also taught us English and he had a passion and a dedication that just truly inspired and a very nice way of making you feel at home and confident about your position in the school and the subject you were learning. I think about him often. In thinking about my most inspirational teacher, I think it's quite difficult for me because I was good at maths in school, I was good at science, and those teachers pushed me. But I think that wasn't the most important experience for me as a young child. I think the most important teacher was a man called Roy Coleman. He taught me geography, I wasn't very good at geography, but he actually ran a weight training club every lunchtime. And I actually started doing weight training. Now, at the time, I was the most badly coordinated, least athletic kid in the year group, and I was terrible. And I did that for three years, and I emerged as one of the strongest, fastest, fittest kids in the whole school year. I became house captain, house athletics captain, house rugby captain, and it was because that teacher saw something in me. Uh, I didn't realise I was an athlete, but he saw it, and that was the most profound experience of my life, from, from becoming this kind of the last person to be picked whenever teams were playing a sport, to becoming a leader in all kinds of different sports. And that was the result of Roy Coleman. In my uh, elementary school experience, there were no actual books in any of my classrooms. They were all reading kits or reading materials. But um, as an 11-year-old in sixth grade, I had a teacher named Jack Edwards, and he read to us. He read novels at a point where everybody else thought we were way too old to, being, to be read to. But it was the highlight of my um, sort of middle school career as a student because the social benefits and the intellectual benefits, the emotional benefits of hear hearing him read stories in his lively, expressive voice, um, I, I think are unestimable. He brought us together as a community at a point where kids can be kind of mean and um, made us love each other because he made us love and talk about the characters in those books we read together. It was a small thing, but his voice really brought a sense of of humanity to a pretty dull um, uh, teaching and learning environment. <laughs>